ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Uh, if y'all don't know, Marquise Houston was somebody from my childhood. I mean, I was a big fan of immature. Then they broke up and they became IMX. We all know him from Sister Sister. Go home, Roger! That was the catchphrase. And you know, we all liked Marquise Houston. He was very unproblematic up until recently. Um, I remember Raz B came out a few years ago, said that Marquise and, you know, uh, Chris Pokes, you know, had messed with him. We're not even going to go there with those allegations. But Marquise has been, or Marquise, is it Marquise? Yeah, Marquise Houston. He's been in the news lately because I remember a few years ago, he got with this really young girl. She was about 18 years old at the time. And so a lot of people had questions because Marquise at the time was 38 years old. And, you know, he's married to her now. I think she's like 22, 23. They have a child together. And so, oh, it's Marcus. <laughs> Somebody said it's Marcus. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> I'm like, this don't sound right. Why am I calling him Marquis? I'm running on this much sleep. It's been a long day. I'm saying like, Marquise, Marquise, it don't sound. Marcus, sorry. I'm looking at the spelling and the, that cue is throwing me off, child. I'm like, why am I calling him? I don't remember calling him Marquise as a child. Marcus Houston is this man's name, child. <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> Rewind that shit back. Marcus Houston. Thank y'all. I looked in the chat, I was like, his name is Marcus T. <laughs> this is why I love my, my, my live streams. You, know, you never know what you're going to get over here. Okay, Marcus. From, uh, from, um, <laughs> From immature, not escape, from immature. So he is in the headlines, okay? He's he's married to this young girl. She's half his age. I believe he's like 18 years her senior. And so he decided to do an interview, and it's going viral on social media with page six. And in this interview, Marcus, Marcus, darling, okay, is basically explaining why he does not date women his own age. And he's saying that women his age come with a lot of baggage. So this is causing a lot of controversy. And I want to talk about this. So we're going to go ahead all together and we're going to watch the interview of Marcus, a.k.a. Batman from Immature, talk about why he does not want to date women, basically, who are in, you know, their 40s because he's 41. And this was somebody that, you know, as a child, I did like. I thought he was really dope. So we're just going to listen to him, to what he has to say here. All right. They have to make up things about me because they just don't have enough. And they're so interested in me and interested in my wife and so interested, like so interested. But what can we create so we can run with it? Because he doesn't give us anything, you know? <laughs> so I think that's a lot of the reason why people make up stuff, too, because they just can't get it from me. But don't argue when you say, well, damn, at least she's black. That's a black woman I'm married. Right? You know what I'm saying? And that's true. Like, I like all through the immature days, we would have light-skinned girls in our videos like, why can't you get a sister? Why can't you get a black girl? And then it's like, oh, y'all only like skinny girls. And it's just like, you know, the, the plus size women was coming out. And I'm just like, man, I just can't catch a break. But it might be true because everybody thought I was their husband. And I'm sorry, ladies, I'm taken. And, you know, Maya got me. So, I mean, if you want to be jealous, you can be jealous, but, you know, just love me. Watch the movies, watch the entertainment, just watch my life from a distance. <laughs> you know, I'm married to sister, and, and you know, uh, she's beautiful and smart and talented, and, and she's caring and loving, and she's everything that I saw myself being in a relationship with. Right. And, you know, when you, when you look at a person's qualities, like, I was talking to one of my friends, and I was saying, yeah, okay, I'm 41, right? She's 22. 
Um, I could have married a 41 year old woman and it could have been disastrous. They could have felt like, you know, cause I, I'll talk, I'll sit and talk to women and women that are my age and they kind of have a different outlook on life. You know, a lot of women my age are very independent. They are very like, you know, I don't need a man to do this for me because I could do this for myself. And I also, I come from a generation that I'm very, very, you know, love to provide for my wife. I love to provide for my woman. And, and I'm very in that generation, like the old days, you know, um, I would never want to be with a woman that felt like, oh, I don't need you out of, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So, you know, and there, there's a lot of women my age, I've dated women my age and, you know, they may have baggage, they may have kids, they may have not, you know, it's just, there's, there's so many different women that I've dated throughout my life. And this just so happened to be the one that caught my heart. So what was your red flag? Like when you like dating through all the time, I know you probably met like some of the most beautiful women in the world. What was some like red flag? Like, right? no, nope, you're out. No, nope, like a red flag. He's like, I'm done. Next. Red flag for me always if a woman had a kid. Nothing against single women, single mm -hmm. mothers with children. I respect them. I love them. I feel like that's one of the, the toughest jobs to raise a child and to also raise a child by yourself and to be a woman. 100% tip my hat. Respect to the women, women that are raising children on their own. But just with me, for one, I grew up, I never really wanted kids. And, you know, I would talk to my dad a lot and he would be like, he would always tell me, look, have your own kids because you never want to have you know, you don't know what the baby daddy's about. You know, so, you know, if you're going to have kids, make sure as a woman that they never had kids before you can have your own. So I kind of like stuck to that. So that was always my red flag. But then that's, again, that's a personal choice. Right. You know, that was my personal red flag. And a woman with an attitude. Like just, I don't like women with attitudes, with funky attitudes that, you know, and, you know, my wife is complete opposite of that. She's so sweet. Like everybody that meets her falls in love with her. She's a people person. She loves everybody. She loves my whole family. She embraced my lifestyle. And that was another thing. I, I, a red flag for me was a woman that didn't embrace my lifestyle because I have a huge life. You know, I have all these people that I know that are my family. I have all this extended family. I have a career. I'm always gone. I'm always busy. And to find a woman that could embrace all of that and say, bring it on. All right, y'all. Let me come back on the screen, honey. All right. So y'all just heard from Marcus <laughs> Houston. So this entire situation is really interesting because this young lady who he's married to, who also has, uh, he, he has a beautiful daughter with her. Um, she's like 22, 23, which is very interesting because she's literally the same age as my oldest child. And, um, let me say this, and I've said this before, so it's not super shocking. I do feel like people who don't have children have the right to be picky as far as, you know, if I don't have kids, I don't necessarily want to date somebody with kids. I can respect that. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for men or women. I've, I've always said that, that if you don't have children, you should be looking for other people who don't have children. So that way you guys can have kids together. It's more special. I hate when I see young girls who are in their mid twenties and they're with a guy who has like five kids by five different women. They don't have any kids. They're trying to play stepmom. They eventually be baby mama number six. I just, I just hate that. So I'm not mad at him saying that he doesn't want a woman with children. Why? Because he doesn't have children. That is his right. I don't, I don't take offense to that as somebody who has two children. Okay. But I, I don't like this attitude of where people think that because you have children, you also don't have no standards. Bitch, you got me all messed up. We gonna talk. So I have two kids. I was also married to my children's father. So just because somebody is a single mother with children does not mean that they have standards. Don't mean they were out here just having kids willy nilly by any and everybody. And for me, I won't talk to a guy who has more children than I have because I'm, and especially if you have different baby mamas, it's really going to depend. It can be more than two. I'm not trying to date a guy who has six kids by six different women and six different Baby mamas, I, absolutely not. If I'm not bringing six baby daddies to the table, I'm not accepting somebody who got six baby mamas. So I, I hate when people have this attitude that because somebody has 
children that they don't have standards or they're just willing to accept anything. Absolutely not. Okay. So I'm not mad about that. I think if you don't have children, you have every right to say, hey, I don't want a woman who has two kids. I don't want a woman who has a baby. That is your right because you don't have a baby. So I can respect that for men and women. I've always said that. Okay. My issue is the fact that let's keep it real, Marcus. You're way older than this young girl, right? So of course, she's not necessarily going to be coming to the table with the child unless she was a teen parent. So what you've done now is put her in a position, right? Where she's your wife, she's born your child, but let's say 10 years from now, it doesn't work out. Okay. Let's say 10 years from now, you know, God forbid, Y'all break up. She finds her worth. She realizes that you, you know, groomed her allegedly and she decides to move on. So now is your wife at that point baggage? Is your child baggage? Is your child unworthy of being loved by a man who's willing to accept her and that child? You see how hypocritical and messed up that is that you're saying this because you're with her right now. But if y'all break up and she decides to go her separate ways, should that should a man then look at your own daughter as trash and baggage and and you know she's unworthy of being loved because you're the father you know so we got to watch the things that we say children are not baggage okay children are human beings that deserve to be raised by both a mother and a father in a loving home but things happen people separate people break up you know what i'm saying everybody's backstory to how they came into being a parent, male or female, is different. You have the right to choose and, you know, do what deems worthy for your life. But I just hate this misconception that people are constantly calling other people baggage. And just because somebody's in their 40s, you are a lot different in your 40s than you are in your 20s. So saying that a woman in her 40s is, I don't need no man, I'm a strong woman, this, this, and that. Most women who talk like that in their 40s have been through a lot of nonsense and they are choosing peace. They're not moved by your celebrity status. They're not moved by your money. They're not moved by, you know, trinkets. They are choosing peace and that is okay. A woman in her 20s, she's just now experiencing life. So she's not probably not as jaded. She hasn't been through a lot of ups and downs. So, of course, she's bright eyed and bushy tailed. This also goes for men in their 20s. Let you know I me mean? little 25 year olds trying to talk to me. I'm like, no, you're old enough to be my kid. They're still bright eyed and bushy tailed. They want to learn from you. They want to be around you. They like your energy as an older person, right? So, of course, the energy is going to be different because I could take that same conversation and say, when I see men who are in their 40s, they come off jaded, bitter, always complaining about child support, but somehow no personal responsibility to the fact that they got five different women pregnant, hence why they're on child support and still paying child support. So it's just an age thing. You know what I'm saying? As you get older, you've experienced more. Good, bad, ups, downs. But again, we also have to remember that energy attracts energy. So if you're only attracting bitter 40-year-olds, maybe you yourself are a bitter 40-year-old, sir. Maybe you're upset because your name is not mentioned with the greats. I, hell, I forgot his name was Marcus. We can go back to a few minutes ago and I kept calling him Marquis. Nobody mentions this man's name. And I'm not taking away from him. he could sing and immature was a cool group, but nobody's, oh my God, y'all remember? Oh, and then and then immature and IMX. Nobody's talking about them like that. You weren't B2K. You weren't even a new addition. So maybe you yourself are bitter because your career hasn't popped since go home, Roger. I'm just keeping it real. Because again, if you're so light and bright and happy, because you said that's what your wife is, that's you know what attracted you to her, that should be the energy that you're portraying to any woman who's coming around you. There's, there's a lot of 40-year-old women out here who are happy and living life, and some have kids, some don't, and they're handling their business. 
So you, you notice people always want to blame the other person. But what is it about your energy that's only attracting bitter bitches with a bunch of kids? Because for you to not have any children, why are you only attracting, you know, old bitter women with, you know, three kids by three different baby daddies? That's weird. Because I don't attract that. I don't even have the type of demeanor where you think you could even holler at me and you got a whole bunch of damn kids. I'm not interested. <laughs> one guy did one time. I got about six kids. <laughs> How many kids? Were you married to any of the women? Nah, you know, things happen. Not, not interested. Next. Not entertaining that. So I, I don't like this idea that people think that because people have children or because they're single parents, that somehow their bar is set low. Absolutely not. You can still set the bar high. You can still have standards and you can date people who have children, you know, and again, and I'm even as picky as, OK, you have two kids. What are the ages? Are your kids closer to 20 and getting out the house or do you have a two month old baby? I might have a dude trying to talk to me. He had a six month old. You and your baby mother need to work this out. I'm not talking to a guy with a six month old child. I'm not interested. If I want a six month old child. I'll get knocked up and have one myself. And then you got it. And then it's a new baby. You got to deal with the crazy baby mama because she don't want you around her newborn, which I definitely understand. So that's the, you, you got to be really picky about certain things when people have kids. You know what I'm saying? Do you only have daughters? Are you just a girl dad? What are their ages? Because I'm a boy mom. You know, even things like that, you got to really, you know what I'm saying, look at. Because I remember, you know, somebody I went to school with, the parents fell in love, had she had, you know, her mama. The little boy had the daddy. Now, the boy was fine. We all liked the boy. Well, well guess what happened? That They started messing around and messed around and got pregnant and had a child. So those are all things you got away, you know, because this ain't the damn Brady Bunch. Some of these kids will start, you know, stepbrother or not. Them parts work. And ain't nothing more weirder than having a baby by your stepbrother, but it happens. So these are all things you have to, yeah, for real, it happens. I mean, the girl, she's fine. She the, the baby's in like her 20s now. I saw her the other day on Facebook. Pretty girl, but you know, that's, you know, stepbrother, stepdaddy, uh, stepbrother, stepsister situation. That's how she was conceived and, you know, whatever. Good stories. You know, no judgment towards the child. She didn't, you know. <laughs> yeah, it happened. They were teenagers. That's what I'm saying. So these are all things you have to really take into account when dating. You know what I'm saying? We're getting in a relationship with somebody. You know, like that's cute. We in love, we in love. But guess what? Your son is like fine as hell. So now she's in love with your son. Okay. So yeah, it, it really happens. Yeah. They ended up being teen parents. It was just, it was, it was, I'm gonna stop because everybody knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> we gonna stop. But yeah, that, you know, whatever. Um, It happens. So yeah, I just, you know, Mar Marcus, stop. Just love your wife in peace and stop doing these stupid ass interviews. You know, now a lot of people feel like, you know, he should get in trouble. What do y'all want to happen in this case? You know, I see a lot of people who are outraged about him dating this young girl. What, like, what do y'all want to happen? Because there's really nothing that can happen. Do y'all want Child Protective Services to do what? She's grown now. Do y'all want the, the baby at the home? There's nothing y'all can do. So I feel like it's wasted energy. Everybody keeps screaming. He's a groomer and she needs to leave him. She's not going nowhere because she he, if he groomed her, she's found a comfortable home because it seemed like she was a runaway. The, her parents and her family weren't really there for her. So he basically exploited that. But I find it interesting that he says that he's known her since he was 17, but he made sure to not holler at her until she was 18. OK, sir. But again, these relationships to me, they're not like this is nothing new. Like Marcus is not the first to do this. That's why I feel like sometimes social media has all this outrage because it's cool to be outraged about something. But a lot of y'all's grandparents, OK, check your grandfather's age versus your grandmother's age and then come back and holler at me because a lot of y'all's grandpa fathers were in their mid to late 20s. Fucking on grandma who was 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It don't make it right, but that's what I'm saying. Let's not act brand new. Like this is something new and that this has never happened. And if and if your grandpa didn't do that, then bless his old heart. But there's a lot of grandparents who there's several years differences. So I'm I'm not surprised. 
but I just don't like this this attitude that somehow you know I'm a 40 year old man and everybody over the age is you know every woman over the age of 30 is somehow tainted so I have to go and get with you know young girls who are 25 and and under and when when in reality a lot of y'all old men ain't doing nothing but messing up their lives because y'all are getting these girls young messing with them messing with their head giving them a baby and you y'all still out here cheating doing what y'all want to do because she's young and naive she wants to fight everybody over you and then one day she wakes up in her 30s and understands like damn i've been played this whole time he wasn't really the man that i thought he was i thought he was my protector and he was only playing with my mind because i was so young and then you fast forward that same 25 year old is now 35 40 and she's bitter and she's upset because she wasted the best years of her life chasing some old ass peen with gray with gray pubic hairs instead of running behind other 25 26 27 year olds you know what i'm saying with fresh balls that still are tight <laughs> <laughs> let me stop you know what i mean i'm just saying a lot of y'all be messing up these young girls and then these young girls that y'all done you know mess with and fuck with in their 20s now they're in their 30s and 40s and mad and bitter so if a lot of these 40 year olds feel away look at your daddies and look at your uncles because a lot of y'all's uncles and daddies mess with their head to the point where they're angry and mad and bitter in their 40s like let's keep that real so like I said, you know, while he's doing all this talking, I hope this relationship lasts and they have, you know, happily wedded, blessed, that's their business, and, you know, whatever. But he needs to understand that this relationship ends up where they break up and get a divorce because now she sees her worth when she turns 30. He better hope that the next man don't see his daughter as some type of baggage and unworthy of love and treat his daughter like just some stepchild and not his own. So make sure that, you know what I mean, you keep that same energy. Yeah, I just I just don't like that, how people act like, you know, once you get a certain age, you should just roll over and die. Absolutely not, honey. You know what I'm saying? Because I know there's some 40-year-old men out here who are handling their business, who are fine as wine, and you know what I'm saying, who got themselves together better than any 20-year-old. And the same can be said for 40-year-old women. You know, so if you don't want a 40-year-old woman, that's your preference, that's great. If you want to be with somebody younger, that's great. Because some people feel like, well, you're pushing the age of 40. You probably can't get pregnant and all that shit. Who knows? That's great. But there's no need to disrespect people as far as, you know, being ageist or talking about, you know, people having kids. It's baggage. And it's very funny that men think that way when it comes to women with children. You know, it's baggage. But yet and still, these same men will not hold other men accountable who are creating the so-called baggage. You notice that? You know, when has Marcus ever come out and said, hey, Future, how about you stop creating more baggage? How about you stop knocking up so many women? Hey, Diddy, how about you stop creating all this baggage and different baby mamas? And whoever else got a bunch of damn kids, y'all can put their names. The NBA young boy, how about you stop creating all this baggage? Little Dirk, more baggage. You notice they never hold the men accountable for creating the baggage. But somehow the women who are left holding the said baggage, they get all the blame. But they never hold their male counterparts accountable. So if, if these women have all this baggage, why are y'all not holding the men accountable for knocking these women up? It, it definitely takes two. So he needs to say, Nick, thank you, Nicholas Cannon. Thank you. Now, Nam person has called out Nicholas Cannon yet. And this man is out here having babies like, you know, like it's sport. Out here don't even know all the kids' names and shit, thinking this is cute. And men are really applauding this and, and excusing him. Well, you know, I got four kids and sometimes I forget their name too. It's not the same thing. We all mix up our kids' names. You know what I mean, Ty? And especially now that my oldest and my youngest, they both got deep voices. It's hard for me to tell them apart sometimes. But I know my children. They ain't but two of them. This man has 12 kids. You cannot compare somebody who got four kids who accidentally names, you know, says, oh, John instead of Timmy, to a man who's sitting here trying to recite his kids' name like he's DMX in that song. It was Rhonda, Letitia, 
Like, come on, let's stop excusing Dickless Cannon. So until Marcus Houston calls out Dickless, Diddy, NBA young boy in future, I don't want to hear shit about baggage and women having baggage and bastard babies and all this nonsense. Because y'all never hold y'all male counterparts accountable for knocking up said women. Y'all know how I feel about Nick Cannon, baby mamas. I've been done drag them. They're just as trashy as he is. Ain't nothing but a whole clown circus, all of them. The only people I feel bad for is Miss Mariah Carey, who didn't ask for this bullshit, and the kids, who didn't ask to be here. As far as the adults playing in this circus, I don't feel bad for none of them. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.